is happening Bank Industries here again welcome back to the channel will you join us today we're on the next step of our renovation journey in our house bought this house mm, nearly two years ago now and in that time we have had uh, brand new windows and a brand new door at the front we've had the living room completely renovated we've had the kitchen completely renovated we've had a bathroom completely ripped out and a brand new state-of-the-art bathroom installed absolutely amazing and now it's time for this which is it's a little box bedroom upstairs at the back of the house and what we decided we're going to do with this is we're going to do a bougie walking wardrobe so we're going to take on every step of the way what we're going to do everything's going to get touched we're having a brand new floor grey oak floor all this is going to be painted all this is going to be glossed to a high standard we're going to have new, brand new curtains and we're going to have brand new everything. Uh, we've been to B&Q last week and we've had a um, completely bespoke made walking wardrobe system for this little room. So by the time it's finished, it's going to look completely different and it's going to look absolutely incredible. So I'm going to take you on every step of the way, guys, of what it's going to be like. And it's going to look superb. So as always, sit back, relax and enjoy yeah guys welcome back so what we have to do in order to get our uh, bougie wardrobe uh, completed is we rang B&Q we made an appointment uh, to go and see one of the design team which is what we did and then what basically what you do is you'll spend you spend as much as much time as you need you can spend up to two hours it's a completely free service it doesn't cost you any more than if you was to buy the components separately and do it yourself. So we thought we might as well utilize that. And what they do is they go through the complete design process on a, on a computer, get it up on a screen, you give them the measurements of your room and then you give them everything that you want, how many cabinets, how many drawers, what you want, where you want them, and then they place them in and then they give you like a, a detailed breakdown of everything, a big thick wad of paper with all the costs and everything. It's a completely free service. Like I said, you don't have to go ahead with it if you don't want. Uh, but we thought it was really, really good. Very, very good. And then they sent us a rendering uh, via email of like a virtual video of the room and what it's going to look like. And I'll insert that right now. Yeah, so overall guys um yeah was very very impressed with it it was a really good service um and yeah that was the design it was uh pretty simple completely free and if you're thinking about doing anything like that i definitely recommend b and q because they were absolutely superb really really good and i can't thank the guys enough in the Wigan branch for uh, sorting out for us. Young lad called Jude was the first one to do it. And then we got in touch with a young girl called Emma because we basically wanted a couple of uh, changes with the drawers. And she sent them out straight away over the phone. And yeah, fantastic. Hello guys, welcome back. So, I'm just going to give you... A... This is the before shot. The first uh, coat of paint is going to be on, going on shortly. Um... The paint we are chosen is the one that we've got in our living room and it's Johnson's Moonlit Sky. Really, really nice. It's like a it's a grey, but it's also like got kind of bluey tones on it, but it's a very, very light grey. And obviously we're using quick drying uh, white gloss. So yeah. That's what we're gonna be using. Yeah. There we go guys, welcome back. So the first court. Second coat is done. Water transformation. Just just that little lick of paint. Some of it's a bit wet, so it looks a bit patchy. But apart from that, this is looking 
really good compared to what it looked like uh, just this morning. It's looking more uniform now. All the dirty marks have gone. And tomorrow the blossom's going to be done, so it's going to be spectacular. So there you go, that's the, just a little bit of an update of how it's looking. Absolutely magnificent, it's looking so much better already. Brilliant. Hey guys, welcome back. So, I'm off to B&Q. Um, like I said, I'm taking you on every step of this journey of this uh, bougie wardrobe they're having doing, or bougie closet, if you're in America watching. Yeah, I'm going to go and look for a nice bougie light grey uh, lampshade now to go with the room. So, uh, yeah, come along for the journey. I'll take you along and I'll see you soon. Yeah, so just arrived in B&Q now, so go and have a look at some... Uh, um, <laughs> that lampshade there, that's really caught my eye, that one. If they had that in grey, I'd probably actually buy that for the thingy, but yeah. Looking for a, a light grey one, to be fair. That'd be nice if that was in, that was in grey. They're a little bit too big. A bit of rose gold. I do like rose gold though. But I think it might be one of these here. The grey one. I think it might be this light grey shade one here. This one looks... Uh, this is a mini trio because the room because the room's quite small. I'm thinking about doing... Uh, it might be this one actually. So it might be actually that one, or I might get this one. So like you've got like a darker grey, and then obviously you've got your lighter grey. But that lighter grey, to be fair, that will go with the paint a little bit better. And we've got some down here, but none of these, none of these are really catching my eye, to be honest with you. So it's probably going to be either the that doesn't look, that says it's light grey, but that doesn't look light grey to me. This is more like of an anthracite grey. But I think that would give more light to the room, so I'm not sure on that one. I'll, I'll probably have to take a picture or something like that, but I'm not sure on them, so I'll come back to you on that. Come back, well, the decision has been made. Uh, we wanted bougie. And bougie is what we've got. Don't judge me on this because uh, I didn't get the final decision. But there we are. It's basically a lampshade made of feathers. So I think that'll go nice in the room. It's going to be really nice and modern and fancy. Uh, yeah, and that's what we chose. And so there you go, guys. That's the next step of the puzzle. Woo! Oh, well, guys, welcome back. Well. <coughs> Goodness me, the furniture components have arrived. <laughs> and arrived they have. Loads and loads and loads of everything. All ready to be installed. Yeah, so there we go, that's all the, uh, the gear there. Hello guys, welcome back. So, as you can see now, the uh, painting has been mainly done. There's a few... Uh, Few touch up points need doing as always when you do fresh paint you just got kind of like settle so it looks a hell of a lot better than it did yesterday and the other day and so you've also got brand new floor going in tomorrow but what we've got up now is we've now got the curtains up and these are the same I've got in my living room crushed silver velvet from uh, Seller on Amazon, we've had, uh, got these in the living room. Really, really good quality for the price. Um, nice curtain pull up there now. So there we go. The next step in the bougie wardrobe. Yep, and that's it. I'll bring you back soon. Back guys, well, the floor is gone in. And what a difference it makes. All Murray's in now. With the colour, the colour scheme, which is like I said, Moonlit Sky by Johnson's, which is light grey, but also has kind of like a bluish tones to it as well. But like I said, that's now what grey up flooring now. This is going to go really well with the overall look of the room. This is a couple of touch ups now, 
and we are set there we go beautiful beautiful flooring I'm impressed with that really good there we go hi guys welcome back well basically the room is finished now there's nothing more than me and my wife can do now all the painting's been done the curtains are all we've just done uh, some more gloss touch-ups uh, like I said all the furniture's in here now ready to go and we've also got up the the bougie lampshade uh, we went back and forward about nearly two kit back but I'm glad we didn't actually because when you turn it on that's so, that's really nice uh, really bougie very unusual and I think it's just going to like uh, it's just going to be brilliant for this room. We're going to get like an LED changing light bulb for that so it can change 16 different colours. But yeah, I'm well impressed with that. It's really smart. So there we go. Another step in the journey. Guys, welcome back. Well, one week later and the walk-in bougie wardrobe has been completed. Absolutely amazing. Just how I envisaged it, just as I planned it, and just as the photographs and the uh, the rendering, which is on earlier in the vlog, shows, it's turned out exactly like that. The measurements were spot on, the planning was spot on, and it's absolutely incredible. I absolutely love it. It's really, really nice. Really nice. If you watch the, uh, the presentation I put on earlier on, it's almost identical to that. Apart from the drawers, of course. Now, I always wanted the drawers to be pushed together like this to make it a little, like a little bit of an island. And it's turned out absolutely brilliant. So you've got six drawers on this side, and then you've got six drawers on the opposite side. And my idea is, I'm going to have like, um, I'm going to have a tray on top of my drawers, and I'm going to have all my fragrances on. The Montclair is going to be the centerpiece. Absolutely incredible. Now this, this particular range of furniture is the B&Q Atomia range and I can't recommend this stuff enough to be fair and as of this video going out they have got a 20% promotion on this so I'll cut down all the costings later on of how much everything's cost me and how much discounts I got off this, how much it should have cost me and how much it did cost me you'll be surprised but everything's really good there we go Nice soft claws drawers, absolutely brilliant. I like the idea of no uh, no handles as well. It doesn't look, uh, I think handles make a um, wardrobe look a little bit cheap to be fair, but yeah, that's it. All done and dusted. Absolutely over the moon with it. It couldn't have gone any better. It went really smoothly. Like I said, three weeks ago, this room was just full of all sorts. Uh, give loads away to charity, got rid of a load of stuff, we've tipped a load of stuff, fresh coat of paint and everything, it's had everything done to it from the floor to the ceiling and it's it couldn't have gone any better to be fair. So there you go guys. That is the bougie wardrobe as I'm calling it. Yep, what I'll do is I'll bring you back shortly with all the costings. So welcome back guys, right, I'm going to go through the whole costings of the room. So start off with the small stuff and then we'll, uh, we'll make our way up to the big stuff. So paint, paint costs us absolutely nothing because uh, we already had it. And my wife uh, painted this room, absolutely brilliant, she's really good at doing stuff like that. Um, the lampshade from b q that was £38. The curtains, crushed silver velvet from a, a, a manufacturer called Sienna, I think they're called, off um, Amazon. There was £20.99. Curtain pole over there, that was uh, £18. And then you come down to stuff like, um, yeah, coat hangers. We got 40 of those from Amazon and there was 32 quid for 40. It was £15 something 
just just shy of 32 quid for 40. We've got the lights. Now we've got four of these, four of these strip lights, and these were £16.50, and these are motion detected. So this is not where they're going to be staying. I'm just testing out the room at this moment in time. But there was £32 because I've got eight. So while four's on charge, I've got another floor. Yeah, so that's that. The floor. The floor was £215. And that was with our old floor being ripped up and taken away. And a new one installed. Parts and leather, £215. Now, the build cost for this was a hundred and well I got quoted 150 quid for the guy to come and do it but he did such a good job and um, yeah he did such a good job I give him a little bit more like but it's 150 quid uh, because I'll tell you something now guys if you're thinking about uh, building this atomy and stuff my advice is get somebody to do it because by now I'd be probably on my fourth argument uh, and it'll probably be flung out the window because some of this was really awkward. That was £150. And then you come to the actual furniture itself. Now, the furniture itself, the original quote for everything that you see here was £1,213. And it was £1,213 when I first got the, the, the original quote. So then I left it a week because we had, we had to go back with a couple of design ideas which I wanted changing. And I'm glad I did because when I went back onto the website, that particular day, they got a 20% discount. So it came down from £1,213 to £944.40. I saved 280 quid or something like that, which basically, basically made the floor free. Um... So the entire cost, the entire bill cost was £1,450 and 39p for the whole thing. £1,450 and 38 pence for the whole thing. That's parts, labour, everything that you see in this room, which I think is absolutely incredible. So there you go. That's the full costings of what this room has um, done. If you need the um, details of the guy who did this, is a guy from Bolton and he's called Flat Pack Builder. Find him on Facebook Marketplace. A really nice guy. Um, yeah, and he went above and beyond. I paid him a little bit extra. Did it all within a day. I wouldn't have been able to do one of these in a day. That, that, I'll tell you, this would have all been on fire <laughs> by now. But there you go. And that's all the costings of the review of the, uh, the bougie room. Absolutely made up with it, guys, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Hey, guys, welcome back. Well, that's it. The bougie wardrobe, as I'm calling it, is now finished. It's all done. I uh, hope you enjoyed the journey from uh, concept to completion. Uh, couldn't have gone any better, to be fair. It went really, really well. So, more than happy, you know what I mean? And uh, like I said, if you want to see more content, then please do me a favour and like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I said my channel, there's an amalgamation of all sorts. I'll do watch reviews on it, do jewellery on it, lifestyle on it. The next minute, I'm on my BMW. I'm working on that. I'll take you along the ride for that. And then I'm also doing home renovations. It's a bit of an amalgamation of just everything that I do, basically. Like, uh, There's no rhyme or reason to it. It's just that I put videos up when I feel like. So like I said... If you want to see more content, then yeah, you are more than welcome, like. But apart from that, this is Mank Industries saying, I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.